Hello guys, back to Kamil here. And in this video, I'm going to start with uh, simple linear regression. And uh, mm, let's just start with what simple linear regression is. So here we have a linear regression data. It's a scatter plot, and we are predicting. Uh, we are uh, passing a line through all the data. And uh, as you can see, the solid line is the one with minimum distance from all the points. And that's what we are trying to do here. Uh, we are trying to uh, uh, make a hypothesis function. Uh, that predicts the values with a minimum error and we assume that uh, uh, the data the uh, independent variable is uh, a linear function of the uh, sorry the dependent variable is the linear function of independent variable as you can see we are trying to predict weight here and uh, the independent variable is height here so we assume that uh, weight is a, a linear function and we try to predict that uh, however it's uh, not possible uh, in each and every case and as you can see it's not possible in this case also it's not a linear function it's just random uh, variable so you uh, you make your hypothesis function look something like this d0 is the y-intercept and d1 is the weight uh, that is how fast the variables uh, the values increase and uh, you try to predict that so this is prediction for the ith sample and uh, suppose you have data something like this so uh, just forget this one right now and uh, you have some inputs and you have some outputs and uh, you have some uh, predictions so uh, next uh, as i said uh, we want to minimize the error so what we do is we calculate the error for each and every sample with uh, the pred uh, the prediction uh, the value to be predicted minus uh, the prediction for that uh, sample and we sum up uh, all the errors for each and every sample and then uh, we want to minimize this so how do we minimize this uh, so yeah, to minimize this uh, you use math uh, uh, there's uh, one topic called maxima and minima in calculus and you use that so uh, you partially differentiate this uh, with v uh, naught and v1 and you calculate the maxima and minima uh, so in this case you will get the minima and uh, uh, you will see that v naught uh, turns out to be this and v1 turns out to be uh, something like this it's not exactly this uh, if you calculate it through maxima and minima if you know uh, some high level statistics then you can uh, come to this point but I haven't uh, reached at this point uh, however uh, the formula that I derived uh, uh, and this one uh, gives the same exact same output so let's just uh, start with the programming so uh, make uh, simple LR enter and start so this simple LR include some necessary files so that will include IO stream include ML pack and core dot FTP now ML pack has some um, already predefined Uh, ML pack already has some predefined routines uh, and functions that you can use for linear regression by just simply calling the function. But uh, I want to be uh, explicit about what linear regression is uh, in the C plus plus way. So namespace uh, ML pack. I really can't type today. So uh, hmm. that's all we need. And next, what we need is a function. First, int main, the call to main, and uh, next, what we want is to find a regression function. So that will be void regression and uh, actually, let's just not define this here. I want my main to be always on the top. So uh, and we will take uh, each and every value reference. So we want double d d zero double uh, b one. We will take by reference b one, and also we will take by reference uh, arma mac. So arma mac, and uh, we will take by reference this. Let's say matrix. Let's call this matrix. Let's call this matrix. 
and also we do uh, return zero. So let's just declare the variable here double and uh, sorry, uh, not it's not return b zero b one. That's all. Arma mat and we create matrix. Next to data load and uh, um, okay let's do one thing n r c and r r v and uh, that's for uh, passing the file name by file calling the application while executing the application and do r v one and uh, the arg vector this is actually the argument vector rg stands for argument vector and rg1 will tell that uh, will uh, contain the file path uh, you will see while we execute the code so uh, next what we want to pass is matrix the armor mat and uh, now we have our data so just print that we have okay, uh, regression sorry we have to perform the regression and the regression will be uh, b0 and matrix and now we have our data so we will print c out let's just print the function so uh, let's say f of x is equal to b naught plus b1 and we printed a function. Next, we define the uh, regression function. So, regression, and what we want is double b0, double with reference b1, and arma mat with reference matrix. This way, uh, uh, it will be very uh, uh, efficient uh, that we are taking each and every value by reference and we are not declaring any variables on the way. So uh, we will also use less spam and uh, less resources will be used. So uh, we want uh, four variables here. So this will be uh, double variables. So numerator, denominator. Okay, let's just declare with numerator, denominator. Uh, we want. Uh, Average over y, and we want average over uh, x. The, these are our variables. Next, what we do is uh, we find the average. So, for uh, let's say we are working on uh, uh, i i uh, hundred samples. So, unsigned. Sorry, uh, i is equal to uh, zero. I less than thousand. I plus plus. Let's say we are working thousand samples. I already have a data set uh, with thousand samples, and that's actually a linear function uh, that I use for uh, making the CSV file. So uh, mm, let's uh, just find the average. So y plus is equal to uh, data. Sorry, uh, it will matrix matrix uh, uh, one comma i and x plus is equal to uh, matrix uh, zero comma i. Next is uh, just uh, calculate the average, so divided by the number of samples, so thousand, and uh, x divided by is equal to thousand. And uh, next is uh, the uh, regression. So for uh, unsigned, uh, unsigned i is equal to zero, i less than thousand, and i plus plus uh, we do. Uh, Regression so numerator plus is equal to uh, this is a function that I use so average minus the prediction uh, sorry average minus the value for uh, that sample uh, so that will be uh, one comma i and uh, into uh, it will be actually matrix here so matrix and matrix and uh, zero comma i and in similar way uh, denominator will look something like this so i will copy this here okay this is my copy this denominator plus 
is equal to uh, x minus uh, matrix uh, 0 comma i and here we forgot bracket ok 0 comma i and uh, uh, into matrix 0 comma i and you can see clearly the function what numerator and denominator is so b1 is equal to numerator minus uh, denom numerator by denominator and uh, we have b1 uh, b0 uh, is equal to uh, uh, y minus uh, b1 into x so that's done the equation is done now uh, it's complete and uh, let's just try adding that hope it compiles without any error it has some error so okay use the uh, incorrect spelling here mid okay it's metric it's not metric I can't pronounce this matrix completed let's now perform the linear function uh, LR and the name of the file so i have a file here test data dot csv hit enter and you can see the hypothesis function is here you can clearly see the function uh, it, the bias is 6.48797 and uh, the weight is something like that and it's, it was actually a linear function which i used uh, you can see simple lr and uh, make data dot cpp and you can see the function clearly here 6.3.45896 and 6 6.48796 there is uh, an error after four places four places of decimal places so you see uh, that's the accuracy if you have uh, the exact linear function so that was it for the linear regression and if you like the video just give it a thumbs up if you dislike the video just give it a thumbs down and uh, also uh, if you have any suggestions regarding the video or any queries or any problems just give it in the sixth comment section and uh, that's it thanks for watching